Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm April Honey. Today we're going to be touring the island of Calypso by Minxie Crossing. Minxie Crossing is a lovely content creator here on YouTube, also over on Twitch and on TikTok. And if you like Animal Crossing content and you love fairy core, you should definitely go and give her a follow. I'll put all of the information down in the description below. I'm going to be touring this island with a wide angle camera and the reason for that is because it is super terraforming heavy and I want to show you that the terraforming is absolutely phenomenal and I don't want you to miss a single bit of it. I'm going to show you the map so you can see what I mean. Okay, so here's the map. I told you tons of terraforming. She has a Flora, Melba, June. Rosie, Azalea, Marshall, Alice, Shino, Faith, and Tangy. Just the beautiful tropical villagers to go on this beautiful tropical fairy core island. You heard that correct? This island is tropical and it's fairy core. So the first thing, I've never seen a water path that is used as an actual walking path, which is pretty darn cool. And it leads straight to resident services over here where you find Luna. I accidentally went the other way, but we were meant to go this way. And right at the entrance, you have this kind of fun little tiki bar moment. Super cute. It looks absolutely adorable. If you go to this uh, front beach, you have a lovely place to enjoy your refreshments over by the water. I love it. It's super cozy. We're going to keep on heading over to the right. On the right, we have this water path continued that you're actually meant to follow. So make sure you bring your boots, folks. We are tromping through the water. And also on the beach, there's just some nice uh, cozy little areas like this little teddy bear picnic super cute it is a fairy core after all it's not a fairy core island without a little mush items and without a few novolites and some teddy bear picnics over here there's this beautiful walking path over to that incline over up top but i am going to continue on the beach for a little bit because we have this lovely peninsula. If you like a terraformed peninsula, then this is the place to come for your inspiration. She did such a great job terraforming this out. Super beautiful in the late afternoon sun. And then right behind it, there's this adorable little picnic area. Okay, we're gonna continue on this path right here up the incline and here we come to our very first lookout point. Our first lookout has a sunken waterfall. There's a beautiful land bridge over to the right and the ocean over to your left. And if you look up, you will see the museum basking in the glow of the late afternoon sun in the golden hour. It looks absolutely stunning. This is such a great terraformed island. I'm going to continue on this path over here and work my way around. So on this side, there's a little hop hop before you get to the museum. And I love these little fairy core codes that she finds. And then we have our museum over here in the midst of all this beautiful terraforming. And I do love that. I love the little tropical tree in front of it and the glowing moss that was used here. It was stunning. If you come down that incline and you continue going to your right, there's going to be this cute little area where the sand meets the water. And I love when there's little bubble blowers like this around on water islands because it just feels very under the sea and magical and whimsical. And I do love that. We're going to continue on this path down here that is leading us to the left again and see what's behind the museum. Behind the museum, we have Minxie's house. She did say she didn't do interior, so I'm not going to go inside, but it does lead over next to the rocks where she was doing her laundry at the well. I love it. And this water code again over here on the beach. And over on the rocks, we have an outdoor shower. I've never seen the Cosmos shower go into the outdoor bath like that. That's a really great idea, and I might have to try that at some point. It does look really good. 
So if we continue on this way, we can say hello to our friend and allow her to welcome us to our island. I feel like my Jeremiah outfit is perfect for this island. And we're going to come over here to our Able Sisters. The Able Sisters looks magical and beautiful in the midst of all of this stunning terraforming. Once again, the terraforming so beautiful on this island with all of the waterfalls. And then over on this side right here, there is a cute little back rock lookout situation that leads to the back water. It looks gorgeous. I'm going to continue over this diagonal bridge and head on over to the Nook's Cranny. The Nook's Cranny looks so good over here with yet more beautiful terraforming. I love that. I wonder how the bike got stranded up on the cliff right there, but I know better than to ask her any questions because there are beware of fairy signs all over this island, and we all know that fairies are a little bit mischievous. So obviously some fairies got into a little bit of mischief and put the bike up there. Over here, we have Tangy's little juice bar. This is super appropriate. Tangy is a little orange cat and she deserves to have her own little juice bar because as Froggy Crossing has told us all, she is a boss babe. I'm gonna continue following this path forward because it looks like that's the way I'm supposed to go. And I think this is leading me back to resident services. It is. So we have a little hop hop here that's going to lead us back to resident services, which is super cool. And then we're going to take this back down and around. We're going past the airport once again and around this cliff over here. We have this cute little uh, seating area over here on the beach. It looks nice and cozy where you'd want to spend a fairy core day, right? I love the Nova lights in the water. They look so good. And all of the butterfly models around look amazing. Over here, we have another little seating area and a laundry area and a little mini campsite over here next to the big campsite. Super cute. This big campsite is nice and tucked away and super cozy by a waterfall. So you can enjoy all of the whimsical nature here. And then April Honey gets lost. And then we're gonna come up this incline and go over to Shino's house. Shino's house looks super cute right here as well. It is absolutely perfect for this island. I love how all of the houses fit so well on this island. And we have this cute little overlook that leads to this incline down and look at all of that terraforming that you can see from here. It looks absolutely magical. So we're going to go ahead and follow this incline down. I love this little terraformed path right here. So cute. And it does go back to Tangy's house. And then over here, there is another villager house. This uh, three tier terraforming right here next to me looks so good with the waterfall and everything. It looks absolutely stunning. For right now, though, we are going to continue to the right and we're going to go and look at what's going on up here. Up here we have a cute little surf shop. I absolutely love it with the little motorbikes and the cruiser bikes and the little surfboards. That looks like so much fun. It belongs so well on a tropical island. And along the front here, we have some magic with a glowing moss pond. I really love that item. And we have Shino, who is a queen. If you keep going on the right, there is all of this lovely decor on the beach and it leads right up to a villager's house, which you don't usually see a villager's house on the beach, but of course this is a fairy core island, so anything is possible here. I love the little details like that building up there on the beach. It just looks really good. This is so cute. And we have another villager's house over here that kind of twins the one on the beach. The villager's houses on this island do match the island perfectly, so I have a feeling they were chosen for their houses as well. And over here we have the most stunning spiral pond with the backwards waterfalls lead, dripping the water back into it. It looks absolutely amazing i'm gonna go and get you guys a better look at this pond because i can and we're gonna go right now 
Through the magic of editing, we are inside the spiral pond. It looks super cool right here with all of the flamingos and everything. I've never managed to make a spiral pond, but I know she was super proud of this and she has every right to be. It looks so cool. The hour of day here looks really stunning too. And if we go up this incline, we have one more villager house and a little seating area for the villager. I do love that there's a flower on the table. All of the little details are always so cute. And this little pathway gives almost jungle vibes a little bit, and it's really neat. And this all leads to another glowing moss pond, which is really cute. And the beach next to this area looks really good as well with a nice little seating area on the back rocks where you can enjoy the scenery on the beach. And the sun is setting already and I really need to hurry because I've only been on this island for 17 minutes and the sun's going down on me. I do love these little turtles that are everywhere on the island. They're super cute. They add such a cute little whimsical touch. They're absolutely adorable. So over by our nook's cranny, we have another hidden path that leads to the secret beach. The secret beach looks so whimsical and magical, and I love these flowers in this lighting. It is gorgeous. So good. All of the terraforming here is so good. It is a very heavily terraformed island. If you're really into terraforming, then this is the island for you to visit. Okay, so that was it for our fun little whimsical tour of Calypso by Mingxi Crossing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for coming. I know you can be absolutely anywhere in the entire world and you chose to hang out with me for just a little bit and I appreciate you so much for that. I hope everyone has a fantastic day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!